Hey guys, it's KJM and it's Temptation Tuesday. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube, if you're not following me on IG, if you're not following me on TikTok, then you need to be doing that. Okay guys, so today is a really quick wig review. Um, but before I get into this magnificent wig, let me just start off by saying that um, I installed this wig yesterday. But then I got hit with some news. It wasn't earth shattering, but it was enough to throw me off in my day. And I just felt like I wasn't going to be able to create a look for you guys. I think I was walking around in my sports bra and my waist trainer all of yesterday. So it would have been a hot ghetto mess had I tried to do a wig review. And that's why I tell you guys, I try to do the reviews within 24 to 48 hours of having a wig install or me installing it myself. So um, if you're a creator and you're having a moment and you just need a break, don't feel like you need to create unless you think that moment is going to positively affect your um, art. So yesterday I didn't want to do one of those cranky wig reviews that sometimes I'm forced to do um, either because I'm short on time and I just want to get the content out and I'm trying to keep certain commitments to you guys. But I had the option of just not doing the wig review. So I didn't do it, so today, today I'm gonna give y'all a review and I think I'm gonna do it standing up, um, kind of for several reasons, because it's a quick review and I just don't feel like moving the chair and doing all that yippee yay yo kaye stuff. So yeah, if you're a creator, don't feel like you have to create every single day. Definitely, especially this pandemic, back away, take care of your mental health, regroup. And I think what I got from yesterday is that sometimes you're just gonna have to move forward in life um, really believing that God has already ordained your steps. And even if something is going to make you scared or, um, or uncertain, remember Joshua 1.9, okay? He did not create us to be um, scared, uncomfortable, or whatever. He created us to be great. So that's my message for today. I had a moment yesterday. I'm picking myself up, and we are going to get into this wig review. Wait a minute, one more thing. Some of you have been asking me about some of the wigs, I, of the human wigs I unboxed in the fall. So let me just explain something really quick. Um, in November and December, I probably purchased maybe 10 human wigs from many different vendors. And I would say 99% of them have not been installed. And I think I did um, an unboxing me for, for a couple of them. But um, yeah, so here's my thing. With my human wigs, I like to get them professionally installed and I've had a gap of trying to find someone who's got the skills to install them the way I want, plus has the customer service. So if you guys have been following my channel, you know that I had an incident that happened in December and I have to change my hairstylist. I'm also in need of a new nail tech as well. Um, because you know, people are just out here in this pandemic tripping. They may do good work, but if the customer service is terrible, I'm not going to keep blessing them, um, with my money and my tips. And I'm a pretty good tipper. I'm usually anywhere from a 30% to 50% tipper. If I'm really happy with the work that someone has done. So some of you are on me. You've been wanting to know about that Asali straight wig. You wanted to order it. I haven't installed it. I know some of you are a little frustrated. But if you want to watch um, a hair review that is unsponsored, realize that these coins are coming out of our pockets. Um, I wear the heck out of these wigs. I'm going to work out in them. I'm going to do anything I need to do in these wigs and then update you as time goes on about the quality. I'm sorry I'm not moving as fast as some of you would like, but I'm not sponsored. People can move that fast when they are sponsored and then choose when they want to be unsponsored. But when it's your own money, your own time, it takes a minute. Rome wasn't built in a day. So I'm sorry if some of you are kind of disappointed that I haven't um, install more human wigs, but a lot of my wigs that I did buy last fall really are for this spring and this summer because a lot of them are color wigs. Now, yeah, I wear a lot of color synthetics, but I'm really particular with my human. You guys know when it gets closer to my birthday, I usually do that fire engine red. So, um, yeah, so that's my PSA about that. I'm not on your time, I'm on God's time. I think this channel has a lot of wonderful information. I'm always pumping out content. I'm always trying not to take too much of a long mental health break, um, you know, to regroup and then give you guys more content. And I'm doing the best I can, baby. Um, if I'm not the person for you, there's a lot of other people that you can go follow. But if you're sticking with me, if you believe in me, 
um, and believe in my timing and my styling, then, then watch this wig review. Okay, so today's wig review is once again from um, MX Angel. Um, and it is a long wavy ombre. It's a two-tone green. And I told you guys I was going to be trying more wigs from MX Angel because them and Love Story seem to be the two companies to beat, though nothing has beat that Love Story gray that I just took off. It's like the most natural synthetic wig I've ever had on my head. So, of course, they send, they send wig caps. Now, as far as the deets for the wig, this wig, I think, currently is going for $53.99 right now on Amazon. Um, you guys know I give up Amazon for lunch, so I have no idea if there's a lot in stock, if there's a little bit in stock. Um, I actually really love it. Um, so I'm really hoping that by the time it's Easter Sunday, this wig will be in stock so I can repurchase it. Because whenever I really love a look and it's very unique, like I'm going to go ahead and purchase it again. So it's like an olive green mixed with the neon. I wasn't sure how that was going to work, but it's working, baby. So you have about four inches of parting space, and it really kind of gives you a T part, but you still could turn this into a side part with your, like, four inches going back. But once again, you only have two inches on the side. So funny little thing, I thought there was a clip in the back. When I was installing it yesterday morning, but I know there's three clips, one on each side. And I think the other one is really in the middle because I've been feeling for the one in the back and like it just doesn't exist. So I think I just looked at it wrong. So I don't like that it doesn't have a back clip, but most of their wigs do come with a back clip. It's still got adjustable straps. Um, it's about 150% density. This is definitely about 150% density. I'm going to say this is somewhere between 20 and 22. Even layered, it may be like 18 to 22 layered. So hold on, let me turn around and give you all that. Okay, so I was kind of disappointed that it wasn't as long as some of their other ombre wigs, like the platinum blonde with the green. I think that's definitely longer and more body. Um, this one, so that's that's my biggest complaint. I wish this was kind of longer and that I had a higher density in it. That's really the only problem I'm having. Also, like all of MX Angel's wigs thus far, you can put up to 180 centigrade of heat on this wig. And once again, I think Google translated that into around 356 degrees Fahrenheit. So you can put heat on this wig. I have not done so at all um just because I just installed it yesterday and like I literally installed it because I love green but this week is also St. Patrick's Day like I don't even need an excuse to wear green but you know I was saving this wig for that so I actually love it I love how this video this wig actually takes pictures I was a little worried what it would look like on me because it's like two different tone greens green is my favorite color and I feel like I'm killing it so let me get in closer for you guys let me get in a little closer for you guys. So I need to fix a couple little areas here. As you guys know, when I first installed my synthetic wigs, I usually spend the next day or two kind of fixing it from the initial install. So here's the thing about MX Angel. So far I've tried, I think, that um, the Platinum Blonde Neon Green wig. I have tried that Violet Purple wig. I just took it off. Now I'm trying this one, and I'm trying to think if I've tried another color or if those are the three colors I've tried thus far. I think those may be the three colors I've tried thus far. If I'm forgetting one, forgive me, go look at my channel. Every wig is constructed differently and has a different feel. It definitely has a different feel. I have a couple other wigs from them, different color, different body, um, that I'm not sure how I feel about. But one thing they do do, baby, is they kill the greens. And I think that's what's going to make them a great company for me. Like they're wavy with the greens. Like they're, it's serving. It's really serving. Look at that. It's giving. It's definitely giving for $53.99. Now, of course, when they do the greens, it tends to be more pricey. Um, you know, most of their wigs are usually $49.99. This one is $53.99. So it just depends on if you want to spend the extra dollars. But honestly, baby, I think that this wig is going to be worth it. So I'll update you guys as I go on. 
So once again, and I've mentioned this on a lot of my videos, if you're trying to learn how to temporarily install, especially a synthetic wig on your head, I have a small wig head, so I always have to do a lot of cutting into the tracks. Well, what feels like a lot, but it's really like, I like to save these pieces now. It's really about this amount from each side on the ear that I generally have to do. Some wigs that are really big head friendly, I may have to cut more, but if you're cutting more than that and you're not cutting in a circular motion, then you're probably cutting out more out of your tracks than you need to. I really recommend making sure that you customize around the ears before you lay your lace front down, especially for synthetic wigs because you're just gonna get a more natural look. Now, I don't do a lot to my synthetic wigs. Like, I need to really learn how to do baby hairs, pluck this, pluck that. I haven't had the time to get that far into it. But it goes to show, like with synthetic wigs, how you can get a bomb look, like last minute, and um, and literally put it together. Like let's say I wanted to go out like for St. Patty's Day, like boom, boom, boom. I could wear this look out easily and it would be, you know, practically flawless, you know, once I'm done doing what I need to do for it. So that's the purpose. I mean. There are some women out there that strictly prefer synthetic wigs. There are some women out there that strictly prefer human wigs. If you're the type of person that kind of lives in your lace front, I like to do a combination. If I'm on vacation or if I want a long lasting wig that I'm gonna have on for at least two to three weeks, then I'm gonna go human because most synthetics are not gonna look that great um, unless you're taking it off your head every day and installing it, that type of thing. So once again, I always use bowl hole products. So today I use, well not today, yesterday, I used the bowl hole active and a little bit of the bowl hole lace jelly. I told you for Amazon, you're gonna have to get your sprays, your glues, your adhesives. Even when they say it's a glueless wig, baby, it will probably fall off your head because this is in the cosplay section. But I hope if there's nothing else that you've learned from my channel, you learned that there's a lot of gems in the cosplay section. All right, it's KJM, it's Temptation Tuesday. Once again, you get about four inches of parting space right up in here, two inches on the side. There are three clips. You have adjustable straps. And we're gonna go back and show you again the inches. So I think it's anywhere from 18 to about 22 inches layered, which I kind of like. Um, and then let me just back up. Y'all, that's my new yoga mat. It's on top of my own one. So yeah, this top is from Fashion Nova, honey. Um, I just wanted to be glorious and all my melanin today. And I just felt like reaching for it. And I've had it, you know, a couple of weeks and I haven't worn it. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to wear it. But baby, today is the day I'm going to wear it. All right, you guys be blessed. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know how you feel about the screen. And I know I'm standing up, but I just wasn't in the mood to move the chair and whatever. And I just want to make sure I'm giving y'all. So I have a little bit of shedding from cutting into the tracks. I mean, that is going to happen. But this one is not shedding as much as I think the purple MX Angel wig. That violet purple shed like a lot. This is just like a little shed. So once again, even from these synthetic uh, wig makers, each wig, depending on the color and the process that it went through, it is going to feel different, move different. I like when I took this one out. I like when it feels a little silky in the roots, but then the bottom is a little bit more rough. So I feel like it's going to give it more of, it'll be laid up here, but give you more of like a natural tone thing. So I'm going to try to put up some pictures on my Instagram today of what this wig looks like in the sunlight. And yeah, you guys let me know how you feel. I'm going to come in again. I know you guys are not used to me doing reviews standing up, but I want to give you all like full force, full force. All right, it's KJM. It's Temptation Tuesday. Be blessed. And remember what I said, if you're a creator or if you're thinking about being one, if you have a day where you just feel like you can't create, take that day, baby. All right, one love and I'm out.